What's up guys, Philip at Trade Genius. I'm really excited about the stuff we're gonna go over in this video. We're gonna talk about the implications that the E-Trade and TD Ameritrade news that came out a couple of days ago about how they're going to make available crypto trading to their customers. They have a combined 16 million customers plus. So we're gonna go over actually the, the statistics, the demographics of that uh, amount of people and how much buying power that's actually going to be coming into the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum space. Very bullish stuff. So let's dive into this video and check that out. Trade Genius. All right, guys, really, really briefly, we have our specials ending uh, in 12 hours. It's the end of the month, April 30th. So if you want to get into the room with us, you can get special number one. That's a 12 month access to the room. We just wrapped up a killer trade it was a 10 hour hold on Matic BTC over 23%. And when Binance has these new listings, these IEOs or even new listings, there's a lot of opportunity to get these sizable type profit gains really quickly. So if you guys are interested in joining us, head over to tradelikeagenius.com. Check out package number one. Okay. so let's dive into this reports that we've had in the last couple of days about E-Trade, TD Ameritrade. What they're doing is they're looking to actually give you the ability to buy crypto, the actual spot crypto. This isn't futures on, on their platform. E-Trade has about 5 million customers. TD Ameritrade has about 11 million customers, okay? And we're gonna get into why a vast majority of those customers are not exposed to Bitcoin and have yet to buy Bitcoin. Very interesting stuff. So basically news broke. I'm sure most of you have heard about it. If not, then you know basically we'll go over it real quick. E-Trade getting on the Bitcoin bandwagon and Nathaniel Popper, this is the important part. In wake of TD Ameritrade, quietly opening Bitcoin trading for some of its customers. I was just told that E-Trade is preparing to offer both Bitcoin and Ethereum trading to its 5 million or so customers and is just finalizing a third party to actually hold the coins. Okay, that's important because you're gonna be actually buying actual Bitcoin, spot Bitcoin. So it's unlike current uh, trading platforms. In fact, on TD Ameritrade, if you have a big enough account balance, you can actually trade the futures, right? But that's just futures, that's not the underlying. So now people uh, that are on these platforms, and we're gonna get to that because it's a specific demographic that large, by and large makes up that 16 million on those trading platforms. L largely those guys have not been exposed or bought Bitcoin yet. So it's very bullish. TD Ameritrade uh, has been testing BTC and LTC spot trades on NASDAQ, okay? So there's been some screenshots posted about the various uh, test listing of those ticker symbols on their platform uh, specifically it's the thinkorswim platform so this is typical ahead of actually releasing a product and so this is in addition to its already offered bitcoin futures trading via the cme and cboe contracts uh, again they they're not really forthcoming which i think is probably a good sign because that they typically don't like to because of competition exactly say what's going on until they're ready to release Basically, they say, we offer access to Bitcoin futures. We are always evaluating new products and services based on client feedback. We appreciate your interest and stay tuned for ongoing updates. Okay, that was in response to in, uh, inquiries about their test symbols for Bitcoin and Litecoin. So again, like we said, there's 5 million brokerage accounts for E-Trade. Uh, Ameritrade reportedly has about 11 plus million accounts. So you're talking about you know, roughly 16 million accounts. So how do we know that a majority of those haven't already bought Bitcoin? Well, there was an interesting uh, Medium article posted by Spencer Bogart and basically titled Bitcoin is a demographic megatrend data analysis. So what they did was they went ahead and they did a survey on behalf of Blockchain Capital by Harris Poll and it was uh, done April of this year. So pretty recent data. They, they sampled 2,029 American adults. Okay. Uh, they did a similar poll back in 2017. So there's going to be some comparative statistics, but check this out. Despite the bear market data shows that Bitcoin awareness, familiarity and perception, conviction, propensity to purchase and ownership all increased slash improved significantly. So let's look at uh, some stats real quick and then we're gonna see why this this whole E-Trade, TD Ameritrade access to their platforms for these cryptos is a big deal. When you look at the awareness, you can see that awareness has penetrated pretty well, okay? If you take the overall average numbers from fall 2017, that by then already had a big jump from pr previous uh, estimates, 77%. Now we're even through a bear market, we're up near 90% of awareness now. 
What you're going to key in on is this 45 to 54, 55 to 64, and 65 plus age demographic because by and large, that's the majority of the age groups that are that have active E-Trade and TD Ameritrade accounts. Jumping to Bitcoin familiarity. So this is, you, you've heard of Bitcoin. How familiar, familiar are you with it? Those numbers are, are quite a bit lower because they, they've heard, even though you've heard about it, you're not quite understanding it completely, right? So there's still a lot to be, a lot of education to be done to wrap your head around what Bitcoin is for that for those age groups. They asked, is Bitcoin a positive innovation in financial technology? Again, pretty similar since they're not quite familiar with it. The statistics are kind of the same on the lower end there compared to just having heard of Bitcoin. They asked, is it likely that most people will be using Bitcoin in the next 10 years? Again, numbers are, are a lot lower than having heard about Bitcoin, but as far as knowing about it and their conviction about it, it's pretty low. Here's what's key though, propensity to purchase. Let's look at that. Are you very likely to purchase Bitcoin in the next five years? Pretty low numbers here, okay? And that's just, again, because they need to get familiar with it. So out of those 16 million customers and the vast majority occupy these three ranges here, look how low the number is as far as propensity to purchase Bitcoin. That has a lot of room for growth, okay? Now, what about how many have actually purchased Bitcoin? Ownership, look at this ridiculously small amount. So well over 95% of that amount of people that are in this age group, which is a vast, vast majority, that 16 million number, haven't even bought Bitcoin. This is why there is a huge amount of upside potential in the price of Bitcoin. Uh, let's just say there's 15 million people out of, that uh, out of that number that are in this demographic. They haven't bought Bitcoin. Look at the circulating amount that's active. Okay, this is off of the Chainalysis uh, numbers and this is about eight months old, so be, but this is roughly accurate for sake of argument. Investment loss coins, so this is stuff that's like cold storage or either lost, and there's a rough estimate is a little over eight million. Okay, so now we have service transactional coin. This is gonna be things through payment processors, exchanges, things of that nature. There's 2.2 million plus. Then personal transactional coin. These are active personal wallets, 4.8 million. So you combine those two, that's about six, seven million plus little over 7 million coins, all right? So you have 7 million coins that are active circulation, and you've just talked about onboarding 16 million clients. By and large, 95% of those people that make up that demographic haven't bought Bitcoin yet. Millions and millions and millions of people are now gonna be exposed to Bitcoin one click away from purchasing that never had purchased it before. Those numbers, those demographic numbers are gonna go up. Awareness is gonna go up, understanding is gonna go up, and then purchasing is gonna go up. And if you think otherwise, you're being short-sighted because as the acceptance of Bitcoin rises, these people are gonna start allocating these things to their portfolio. There's just not enough Bitcoin to go around. So again, if you haven't gotten any Bitcoin, now is the time, especially as we start heading toward this halving cycle, buy it regularly. These are the opportunities that we have to get and, and get in before the next bull runs. Guys, very exciting stuff. I think that this is just one sliver now. This is just two companies. And this is going to happen on a global scale. You will see the price of Bitcoin go very high, very quickly, sooner than anybody has anticipated. Okay, Bear market cycles are normal, but take advantage of what's happened in the, in the 80 plus percent pullback that we've had. Because historically, those are prime areas to be getting allocated long term for Bitcoin. All right, guys, so that's it. I uh, just wanted to point that out, that even though... Uh, that announcement in and of itself seems pretty bullish. It's actually even more bullish when you dive into the statistics and see how much upside potential and buying power those two companies bring to the Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum space. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope it helps. Please hit like and subscribe. We really appreciate that and appreciate your continued viewership. See you on the next video, guys. Take care. Trade Genius.